Saskatchewan people do want to see a stable uh, base to their to their government's uh, budgets going forward, and that we're not knee-jerk reaction reacting to the price of oil each and every year. But what I would like to say, it, it will generate annually, not this year, but it will generate annually a little over $20 million. And it's interesting that our surgical wait list initiative is also a little over $20 million. And if I said to a Saskatchewan resident, um, you know, would you be willing to pay this for maybe the two concerts and the, and the rider ticket in order for us to address the very critical surgical wait list? Because we all know someone, if we're not that someone, we know someone in our family that their quality of life isn't what it should be because they need a he knee or hip replacement. I think Saskatchewan people will support that. This is a government that's nickel and diming Saskatchewan people at a time that they desperately need relief. And we have a government that's in a position to be able to offer some relief. Revenue strength was increasing throughout la the last fiscal year and its windfall revenues have been sent soaring by Putin's unforgivable invasion in Ukraine. It's only right for Saskatchewan people, the owners of those resources, to be offered a bit of relief with the sky-high prices that they're facing, the, the huge increases in the cost of living.